Hey, welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph y equals 1 half x squared. And what we're going to do is, again, just another introductory video on just simply graphing a parabola. So when we have a, um, a parabola or a quadratic that's in this format, um, one of the first steps we're going to learn is just be able to graph by using a table of values. So remember, when graphing, we're going to have an x and a y axis. So therefore, we're going to have every point that's going to be on our parabola is going to contain an x and a y coordinate. So here's our x-axis, and here's our y-axis. So therefore, what we're going to do to graph this, we know that each x and y is going to have a coordinate. So what I'll do is now I'm going to create a table. Now, we're going to learn different ways on graphing um, quadratics and also different ways to use it with the table. But to start off, I'm just going to use a table. And I'm going to choose a set of values for you. And I'm going to kind of, we'll explain, learn, we'll learn later when to use different table of values. But for right now, we're just going to use an introductory values. And let's just do. Uh, uh, let's do um, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Now, you can choose any table of values that you want to um, for right now as far as on this introductory point. But one thing that I notice is I know that when plugging them, I'm getting multiplied by 1 half. I don't really want to be dealing with fractions. So I chose some values that I'd, be, I'd make sure that once I have my term squared, it will be easy to multiply by 1 half. So now what we're going to do is we're given, so what we did is we chose some x coordinates. Now you can, as I mentioned, you can choose any x coordinate um, that you want to. As these equations get a little bit more complicated, we're going to learn on how to better choose your points. But for right now, when we have something in this format, and just as our introduction to learn, we're just going to go through a set of values. And I'm going to choose you know, at least two negative, zero, and then two positive. So if I know my x is going to be equal to negative four, I now need to determine what the y coordinate is going to be. So what I do is I plug in the x coordinate, negative 4, in for there. Now negative 4 squared is going to be a positive 16. Positive 16 times 1 half is going to equal 8. Therefore, y equals 8. So now I go to negative 2. So I write y equals 1 half times negative 2 squared. Well, negative 2 squared is 4. And then 4 times 1 half is 2. Then I plug in 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 times 1 half is 0. Then we notice that 2, we're going to plug in 2. And what we notice is since we're squaring it, it doesn't matter if 2 is negative or positive, we're still going to get back 4. When 4 times 1 half, again, will give us 2. And that's going to be the same case with 4. When I plug in a positive 4, it's not going to change my output value because 4 squared is 16 and negative 4 squared is 16. Multiplied by 1 half, we're going to give us 8. So now to graph our function, what we're going to do is we're going to plot these points. Now remember, x represents the point, the coordinate on the x-axis, and y represents the coordinate on the y-axis. So the first one, I go over to negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I need to go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I try to do this the best I can over from over there. Now let's plot negative 2, two positive 2. Negative 2, up 2. 0, 0, positive 2, positive 2. So over 2, up 2. And then over 4, up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, now up 8. And then what we notice is this graph is going to keep on getting larger and larger. It's going to keep on going up to infinity. So we're going to draw some arrows at the end, representing that the graph is going to keep on going up. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is an introductory video for graphing a quadratic using a table. Thanks.